You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You know I'm rarely appropriate. Well, let's choose the appropriate series test. So, this might be the most important section you have. So, what do we have? We want to choose the appropriate series test. Oh, boy. I guess we can go down this middle right here. All right. This top one up here, you are probably going to look for the comparison test. Why? Because <clears throat> that's a divergent harmonic, and that is a convergent geometric and you're like a divergent and a convergent i don't know what that is but this is plus something so you might want to compare it with one over k just saying since this one has more added to it that one's going to be bigger and that's divergent just saying let's go down here now you're looking at this oh it's so pink it's got to be october somewhere so um mm, i'm right half the terms um um um, I'm looking at that, and if I ran that limit, then that would be infinity to the zero power. You don't know what that is, but you might want to take the time and use L'Hopital's, well, first get it out of the indeterminate form, then use L'Hopital's to see where that limit goes. What's that even called? Divergence. That's the divergence test. After that, you might want to try root if it doesn't diverge. Now, I'm down here and I'm looking at that. So, I see that sink. Let that sink in. Yeah. Um, on that sink, what do I have? Uh, I have a bounding. What? Sink is never bigger than one. And that's k squared. So, you're naturally bounded above by something that converges, which means you're probably going to use the convergence test. I don't know. What do you think? Come on over here. There you go. There you go. All right. Hey, what's that? It's a factorial. What does that mean? That means it gets real, real loud that it's a ratio test. <laughs> when you see factorials, you're going to try to use the ratio test. Wow, it got loud and hot. This is why we're hot. Now we're looking down there. This is more fantastical. This is like an out of control example. When you see rational, when you see rational functions in your sequence, yeah, you want to use the limit comparison test. But then you see this rational function has the same degree in the top and the same degree in the bottom. So you might want to try the divergence test on that. Just saying, if... You're looking at it, looks like that limit's gonna go to a third. Is that zero? No. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it, you got it. Oh, look at that. Loud! Ratio test again. Yes! Because of that factorial. It's screaming! Ratio test. But also it has um, Exponential equations, ratio tests are good on those too. So on this one, I detest that that should be a ratio test. Now on this one, yeah, you're like, what's the missing link? Well, you're looking at it and you're like, I really don't know what to do. So maybe I should use the limit comparison test because that's when you use the limit comparison test when it's rational or when you don't know what to do. But you're looking at this and you're like, that link is gonna make that denominator bigger. So I can compare it with this one. If that denominator is bigger, that means it's a smaller fraction and you're gonna have it bounded above by something that converges. This is all side work. Yeah, there should be a sum in here. There should be a lot of other work in there. But if you want to see those work, all these are probably worked out in one of the subsections. Yeah, here we are just talking about which test to choose and why. You got a variety of different options here. And we talked about our best strategy.